Hi folks, right I just wanted to come back quickly and just do a very quick video. I did do one showing you how to do, um, I did the black winged one there if you can see, let me pick up my light, if you can see the black winged one, there we go. and then I did a video showing you how to make the white winged one which I made slightly different. I don't like the white winged one, I'm not happy with it at all. So rather than put that one on, because I really am not happy with it, I thought I will come back and make another one um, of a dark wing, but it would be yellow bum as against gold. Okay, right, let me move these out of the way. So I'm just going to talk you through really quickly how we went about doing it. Okay, so I've got, it's all with polymer clay, this is. Okay, and then I rolled it out to the same thickness and then I laid one black, one yellow, one black, one yellow, one black, one yellow directly onto the tile. Then I, with a piece of, um, I've got a piece of hard plastic, I burnished it and went over the top rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and then with the, a little bit of pressure on the rolling pin I went that way, that way, that way and that way. Okay. I then made them with the white ones because I had a stripy body as well as stripy bottoms. So I laid it on a piece of black, um, made it quite thick because I, I quite like a little bit of a sort of depth with mine. Um, I then, with my very new um, cutters, fantastic, got them for my birthday off my mum. I then went along and cut the tails out. Now I'm only going to cut one because I don't want the video to go on too long because I'm sure you'll want to try it. Um, unfortunately I do have another white one that I've uploaded but I haven't put it on. I might tag this on, put this one on and then I don't know. We'll see. Anyway I'm going to go for the big one, biggest one to make the bottom. So I've, I've wrapped cling film around it so it gives it a nice rounded edge in. Make sure you've got it round the right way, otherwise what will happen is it's got to be facing you. And so that means so the point of the teardrop has got to come down this way. And then that should give it lovely rounded, she says as it's cut straight through it. Well, that could be a problem on its own. Um, let's see if we can get it off. This always happens to me, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ever feel like it's just something that happens to you because it's not true. Now I've got a plastic piece over the top. And you think, well, pull it off, but actually it's not that simple. Right, here we go. It's, look at that, punched a hole straight through. Okay, that might happen. It's happened to me, so it doesn't mean it's not going to happen to you. Right, okay. So we'll put that to the board to the back because we no longer need that at the moment. Uh, that's why, because it got glue on it. Okay, so make sure your edges are nice, nice and sort of pointed down and around. So it hasn't done it rounded now because it's punched through. The idea of putting the cling film over it is to make sure that it rounds the edges nicely, which that is not. Let's try that again, shall we? I've doubled it over this time. Right, that did felt like it did something. There we go. Okay. I guess it's because I've been out um, down to my my daughter's, who is in my support bubble. So it's gone cold. Whereas earlier on, I conditioned it and. Uh, that worked really well. Right, let's try that. Let's just pull that off. I will, the white one that I have done, I will oven, oven bake it because I still would like to see what it looks like when it's been done. Right, here we go. So just make sure your edges are stuck down nicely and underneath. And then you want to just pinch out the ends. Now bear in mind, if I would have been using the bright yellow that I thought, because I didn't realise I'd got this, this orangey um, 
yellow in in my uh, in my set. If I'd have been just using yellow, I probably would have put some orange in with it, just to dull it down just a little bit. Okay. Right, let's clean that off. Very important. Right. So, just want some brown, a uh, black now. Let's cut the end off of that. <coughs> so for the body. What I want to do is use the next size down, if you can see that. I don't feel like that's doing much there. That's right, just moving that in slightly so it's uh, is that a bit better. Yeah. Okay, so we got this very end, which is the next size down. We're just going to do one body piece okay like that again make sure it's nice and neat All right. and I'm not going to cut that off I'm just gonna kind of stick it on there let me move, zoom you in a little bit So I'm just going to make sure it's nicely well stuck down and I want it to sit flat like that. Okay, okay, so next we, I've got a stamp here because we do want four, that might not be big enough actually, um, four pieces of, ugh. I might have to just bear with me when I pop this through the clay pasta machine. I don't really want to get any more black out. So I'm just going to use those bits. It's so awkward to do that's so time consuming I want to try and get as many pieces out of that, that bottom bit as I can. Okay, I'm just going to pop this through the pasta machine, bear with me. Once these are cooked as well I've got some jelly pens which I might have a little go at, some, some jelly sort of bits. Just recondition it again. Okay. So I do have some of this which is a bit of a sort of odd sort of odd shape uh, it's been in the glue, look at that I knew it was on some right, let's turn that in So all you do is, I, I push it down personally. Some people roll it. I will roll it a little bit over the top, look, just to make sure it's well, well stuck down. And in there, I'm going to go that way as well. And then very gingerly pull it out. Can't really see much of one though. I'm not very happy with that. No, I think it needs to be... Yeah. one of these it's just a stamp that I've got you can use any stamp, any picture it's just what I use and just run over it with the like that a little bit of pressure and then with the medium one so that's the large one that's that size down so with the med uh, Do you know what? I'm going to go for the medium one and the next size down from the medium one. So those two. So it's not the biggest one, it's the next two down. So I want two that are that shape. So it's one, two, and then two that are smaller. 
because I think that was part of the problem as well is that the I find the leaves are wings are too big okay and just peel back the black there we go right now before I use these this is when you want to use your mica powders um, up to you which ones you use for this I'm probably going to use gold one right Aztec gold so I'm going to stick my finger in there these are Arteza colors Arteza my, my, micas micro oh my goodness I've lost all wording what is going on mica powders right, if you can see the way that that's just come into life um, as you add it and rub it on look at that it is lovely a really nice colour It's there's lots of gold colours in the, the Arteza mica powders they are definitely worth a look if anybody is if you're any Christmas money and you've got uh, a little bit kicking around they are definitely worth the money I bought the set of 60 but they will last me forever because the amount that you actually use is so very little. Okay. So each side we're going to put on one small one, just there, and one big one there. Okay. So small one, it's probably easier to get them off the side with a blade. Small one and one larger one like so so instantly that looks better than the white ones I can't help it it does the white ones just are not really they're just not um, I don't know what it is about them I don't know they just don't look like that so can't say I haven't tried okay so now I do something a little bit different. Um, some people stick um, blops on and bigger blops and whatnot. I found that making like a bit of a body that fits just there, just sort of up there. And then all I did with a pointy tool, but you could use a um, cocktail stick would work just as good and then I literally just popped it on there like so squashing it down a bit and then push the head in a little bit now I do have some septums is it is that what they're called but they're pink and it, I just don't think pink is really the color that we're looking for okay so I just brushed down the back peak there because it's on a black part the only trouble is just do be careful that you don't overshoot onto a yellow part okay so like so and then I want two eyes on it and I want something down the back here so I'm going to have a look at these white ones and I'm going to take them apart okay so this one we're going to put two black eyes on it We've got this to go down the back, which is just off of a necklace that I cut up. Make sure it's nicely spaced out. And then just push it down. Like so. So it just gives it a nice sparkle. Okay, then black eyes. We're going to do one black eye there. And one black eye there. Right, now getting these on are not quite so easy. Okay. Oh, see? There we go. It's gone 
need to chain them up. And that is. You have to kind of put it on and then sort of run with it. Like that. And then the one this side. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I've just got to kind of put it down and then quickly squeeze his head. So they sort of stay there. Okay. So that's what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. So that's one with a white bottom. Uh, yellow and, well, it's more of an orangey, orangey sort of black bottom rather than a yellow one. Okay. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.